Welcome to Man Crafting. Today we're going to show you how to make this cool Holstein cow cut that resembles a Chick-fil-A cow. Not only that, we're going to show you how to clear coat vinyl. Get a lot of questions on that. Stay tuned. Today we're starting off with a Rec Pro cup with a vinyl monogram in the Samantha font. We're covering it with polar white and once we have good coverage we're going to inspect that coverage with a new tool that we have available to us and we're going to do a review on this tool so be looking for that video in the next day or two. Once we're confident that we have good coverage we're going to vacuum off our stand. We want to make sure that any excess powder is removed so that it doesn't bond to the stand each time we add more powder. Once the stand is good and clean, we're going to lower the stand washer so that the cup is no longer in contact with the floating washer. We're going to remove our blue Scott paper towel that we're using as an insulator. And as you'll notice, there is also foil on that floating washer to keep powder from building up. We're going to now put the cup in the oven. And while we do that, we're going to go ahead and vacuum everything up. We're going to clean everything up real well. We've got about two and a half minutes to wait. So why waste that time? We get it all cleaned up. Our two and a half minutes is up. We're going to take the tumbler out of the oven and we're going to check the temperature when it gets down below about 125 we're going to go ahead and remove the vinyl monogram in the Samantha font so we just use our fingernails a lot of times especially with these thinner fonts it's just a lot easier than trying to use a tool especially when you're our age and Looking at things through magnification glasses is a total pain in the butt. Okay, now we're applying our vinyl, and this is just one of those things. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. We're just kind of placing them different sizes, different locations. This is the fun part. This is where our artistic ability comes into play. Andy particularly enjoys this. I don't think this part so much man crafting, but he likes to do it, so I'm all for that. Okay, we're just about done. We've got a couple more spots that we want to add vinyl. And again, this is completely random. We're noticing there's a couple of spaces that may look better if we have a little bit more vinyl in there. A couple more spots. The Holstein cow look is almost complete let's get one more here on the bottom and this is a great thing about the rec pro it's smooth so you can add whatever you want to the bottom and all it does is add to the cup now we're going to go ahead and take some time to wipe off all our fingerprints from the vinyl we just figure this step is probably worth the extra few seconds now it's important to make sure that you're set up and ready to go before you pull the cup out of the oven we've put the cup in the oven for about another two minutes to get it up to temperature. We like to see it around 200 degrees. And once we have that temperature, we're gonna go ahead and pull the cup from the oven and put it back on the stand, grounds in place. And when that cup gets down around 180, we're gonna go ahead and start shooting the clear coat. And we've found through trial and error that this is about the best temperature. You get too much hotter and you start to see the powder will melt in some locations and you might end up with a real heavy coating in some places. If you let it get too cool, it may not adhere to areas that don't hold the powder as well. And sometimes that's where the vinyl is, sometimes that's just where your powder's heavy. But we found that with the cup at around 180 to 160, we're getting really good coverage. Keep in mind, this is only after we added an earth ground to our system. Prior to that, we didn't do well with two coats. 
Okay, once we think we've got the coverage we want, we're going to go ahead and do another inspection with our new tool. And once we've looked it over real well, in this case we actually found that one of the stickers wasn't completely flat and it must have pulled up a little bit during the oven cure. So we decided that the easiest way to deal with this would just be remove this one spot. And after looking over the totality of the cup, we decided that it was kind of fine without it. So we went ahead and hit that spot one more time with clear coat. And once we felt we were comfortable with that coverage, we commenced to cleaning off the stand. Again, the less buildup you allow on your stand, the better grounding you have, the better your stand operates. And once the stand's clean, we're going to lower that bottom washer, let the floating washer drop, and we're going to remove our blue Scott paper towel. Again, we're using that as a way of sealing off the bottom of the cup to prevent any dust from getting inside. All right, 30 minutes later, we're pulling the cup back out. Should be at full cure at this point. We're going to take a close look. Everything looks fantastic. Here's another look at it under a little bit better lighting. And you can see very white, polar white. The black stands off really well. And the natural metal Samantha font monogram just looks amazing. We were very excited for our neighbor who was able to give this to his mother-in-law, who is a farmer down in Brazil. And she was in town for the week, and so he wanted to give her something special. And no doubt about it, this was special. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions that you ask them in the comment section. If you like this video, please press like. And if you find this channel useful, by all means, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.